Hello, my name is David Rowley. I'm uh, one of the trustees of the Don Catchment Rivers Trust and I'm going to do a little demonstration of fly tying. The uh, fly I'm going to tie is something called a black and peacock spider and flies are tied simply to imitate natural insects that fish eat. So the whole purpose is to tie something that will deceive fish. Right, let's get started. I'm using a size 12 wet fly hook and this contraption I'm using here is called a vise and its function is very simply to hold the hook steady whilst I do the tying or I tie the fly. I'm going to start off with some black thread on a bobbin. This is not dissimilar to thread you might sew with or use in a sewing machine. And I'm tying in the thread about two millimeters back from the eye of the hook. I put some securing turns on first and then I want to put touching turns of thread all the way down the hook. And in order to easily do this, I hold the tag end of the thread at 45 degrees. And that means that each turn slides down and is put in position immediately next to the previous turn of thread. It's a bit of a cheat. And then cut off the excess thread and I'm going to take three pieces of peacock pearl from the large peacock feather I'm going to tie those in and then secure them with wraps going back up towards the eye of the hook. And then take the hells and twist them into a rope. Peacock pearl is quite delicate stuff, so I'm being quite gentle as I tie, tie these in. I'm winding those forward towards the I, and you should be able to see that the individual fibers stand up on the peacock hill. giving an impression of segmentation. I've got back to the starting point. I secure with a few thread wraps. Uh, taking my scissors, cut off the excess. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm going to take a black feather from a chicken from the neck of a chicken. You see the feather's got a natural curve. So I want to tie it in this way, taking advantage of that curve. Take 
another little gadget they're called hackle pliers and I'm using those attach them to the end of the feather and they make it easier to manipulate the feather you notice as I start to wind the feather on the hook each of the feather fibers stand, stands up And you need about three, three turns. With my thread, I secure and stroke the feather fibers back. And put a few wraps around. To make a neat head. And just snip off a couple of fibers that aren't needed. And I use another little gadget, wit finish tool. And that just puts a knot in, a securing knot at the end, behind the eye, to make sure it doesn't come unraveled when I'm fishing. Snip off the end. Thank you very much for watching.